Good morning. I'm about to brush my teeth. It's early. It's 4 30 in the morning. I'm up early, just um, about to take a shower and wash my hair, so that's what I'm about to do. I came back from Papa's in the shelter, and my husband is helping me put up the groceries that they have given us. They gave us a lot of different food as well. Kids, they outside walking around. That's Andrew. That's Anita right there. They just playing. This is an area they like to play at. That's Anita. Put it down. That's their father right there. He's just telling them. This is me. We just got finished running and everything. So that's what we just did. We sit down, taking a break right now. And um, waiting to go in the house. That's what I'm doing. Giving the kids a few times to... Uh, run around and play yeah. and yeah that's right now we're getting ready to go to the laundry mat and get the clothes we're getting ready to put the clothes in these baskets right here that's what me and my um husband he's in the closet putting some gloves on right now we're getting ready to get the clothes out the dryer and um andrew is excited about that he loved to help his mother out so do Anita. What we get ready to do. We usually do the laundry together. He's going to help out my husband. He's just putting the gloves on to protect his fingers. That's how he is. He's just very protected. He wants to be protected because he don't want germs. So he is ready. We ready to go to the laundry mat. All right. You ready? Go ahead and get these clothes done. Go ahead. Good job. I didn't know her now. All right, now. The one her hand is on and the two. Oh, 
bag. What you want? Get that one first. Get a basket at. Now the kid is putting clothes in the large bag. Hold on, Andrew. Stop rushing. Take your time. All right. Right now, I am getting ready to make hot dogs and beans for me, me and the kids. We are eating turkey hot dogs and vegetarian beans. So this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to open this can up like this. This will be fine. Some of this out. Just a quick meal when you're waiting on other stuff. So this is what the kids are gonna eat. Throw that in there. I may get a little bit of it. <laughs> this is something quick, you know, you can throw together. So the kids, I'm gonna wash these dishes. And, uh, that's about it. Wash these dishes.
free spaghetti for dinner. So this is already boiling. The hot dogs and beans. Let they cook for about 10 minutes. Let it boil through. 10, 15 minutes will be done. Just want to make sure it cooked through. They want to eat that. This will be for dinner, the spaghetti. The hot dogs and beans will be for lunch. And if they want something else, I'm giving them some fruits and vegetables. And then for dessert, they can eat a donut or ice cream. God is good, always. the kids at the park today say hello. hello yes they are playing on this nice beautiful beautiful park the kids are playing on Anita and her dog baby yes indeed my husband and Andrew is over here he want to play basketball the court is on the other side. He's talking to Andrew about the basketball he wanted to play. And um, Andrew going to play on the park for a little bit. And then we're going to play basketball. It's my husband right here. Say hi, honey. He's out there now. Today his birthday. Look what my husband did, y'all. He got the ball stuck. Look at him. He got the ball stuck. It's about to fall. It's going to fall. Look at him. Got the ball stuck. Like, come on. This Anita. Anita want to play basketball. Hi. Thank you. You can't see nothing down there. <laughs> it's beautiful. Dang. <laughs> Honey, you teaching him how to um shoot, right? No, let him be himself. He gotta learn. I thought you said you gonna show him how to. Good job, Andrew. Look, he got. Be careful on that thing. Andrew is something else. Something else. Hold up. What? Oh, I was about to go get it. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Good. That's good. We still got good people out here, y'all. Take it. That's Andrew doing that. Andrew making them hoops. I need him want to play. Honey, let me to play. Come on, y'all. No, she's not older. She's gonna make it shot. Come on, let her play. Let's go back for her. Mm -hmm. Why did she mess up my shot? Mm -hmm. on the court. Let the ball. Let mommy play the ball. Let her make one shoot, Andrew. We can make a ball. We can make a ball. This is us on Metro. We got on Metro to go back home. This is where we got on to take the kids to the park. They had a great time. Now we're on our way home. We're going to get them 
a nice bath, and we're going to feed them some nice, delicious dinner. This is my husband and the kids. This is me going to CVS Pharmacy. I had to get my daughter some pull-ups for emergency. You know, sometimes being a mom, you just have to stack up on things. I went to the library around my way, just looking through some Christian books, some books that I was thinking to read. This morning, when I woke up, the first thing I wanted to do was wash all the kids' sheets and covers and pillowcase. So if you don't know, if you knew, I have a daughter and a son. My daughter's name is Anita. She is three years old. I have a son. He is seven years old, and he is in second grade. I love my kids. I do anything for them. But on this specific day was payday. And everybody know when it's payday, you want to get things done. So what I had in mind to do was to wash all the clothes, get all the clothes done, and just try to get everything done. And I was, you know, taking the cover off my son's bed. And he just woke up. So I told him, you know, come on, get on up, go in the bathroom, wash. You know, get ready for your school. But we end up going to Giant first. I wanted to go to Giant and get some groceries in the house, get everybody settled. I gave him a hug and a kiss and just talking to him so he can wake up and get ready for his school. My son loves school. He loves to learn, and I like that about him. You know, school, a lot of kids don't like to go to school. But my son do. So I ended up putting the sheet, the covers, and everything on the floor. I put everything by the front door because we had a lot of clothes this day. I mean, we had two baskets then. I had stuff. Just, I had a lot of stuff. I just want to say to the parents, continue to be strong. Continue to be brave. Keep doing what you're doing for your children. Even when they get on your nerves, just know that you are doing a great job. You are appreciated. And one day they will take care of you. I just want to say to you, keep praying, have the faith, keep believing, and know that God is going to change everything in your life. Be encouraged. Keep going and know that you will make it. Keep believing. Andrew's getting ready to brush his teeth. He's getting ready to go to school. Andrew get on the school bus Monday through Friday. He's doing good so far. He has started school this Monday. And um, he's excited. He's been doing good so far. And um, we're just taking our time. And I'm just waiting for the parent-teacher conference that they have so I can meet the teachers and the staff of the school. Because um, my son, he's in special education. And he is seven years old. He's in second grade. I'm excited about this school year for him. And um, I hope the staff and everybody is doing what they're supposed to do. And, you know, I hope this school year go really good for Andrew because I know he can do good. And um, I hope God really make a way for him this year because I need Andrew to do better. Ain't that's right. We need you to get yourself together. Okay. Go ahead and wash your face. Be that like that. Go ahead and wash your face. He won't wash his face. Just rinse some water on your face. Get the cracks out your eyes. And uh, Get your hair out. Come on. Wash your face with the water. Rinse some water on your face. Keep the water on. Wash your face. Rinse some water on it. That's all you're doing. Keep washing your face. And um, you get yourself ready for school. And he's excited. He thinks everything is funny. 
that's the one that you can out. So I'm gonna get him together and we'll be right back. Right now we're going to Giant get some groceries for the household and then after we're gonna um go to Dunkin' Donut. Today is a busy morning. My husband not feeling well. Andrew is excited and need is happy. I just say I'm just taking my time today. Today is a rainy day. It's raining today. The weather is up and down. Um, you know, sometimes when it's raining, people don't want to do nothing. So we're just taking our time as well. This is us, me and my family. We went into Giant. We got a shopping cart first. I needed me a shopping cart. If you don't know, I love to shop. So we went shopping before Andrew went to school. This day was something else. So we had um, went to Giant. All I knew was I wanted to stock up on meat, you know, just general food, you know, meat, fruits, you know, vegetables, different stuff. So we used the shopping cart. The first thing was on my mind was fruits. And I had got some fruits and things that we needed in the house. The kids wanted to move, you know, the cart around. You know how kids are. They want to argue about it. So that's what we had did. I had got some fruits and some things that we had needed. I know my kids like to eat oranges, apples, and grapes. So that's what I had picked up for the kids. I try to make sure my kids eat fruits twice a day and try to get them vegetables, you know, twice a day because as your children are young, you got to watch what you're feeding them and putting inside their body. You don't only want to just put, you know, chips, cookies, and candy because that's not good for kids they still growing their mind is still developing their teeth and everything is still coming in and you got to be careful like my daughter anita she like to eat apples and oranges andrew he likes to just eat apples but i try to introduce him to different you know fruits and vegetables and so he can get used to it you know because sometimes we have kids that's picky my son is very picky when it comes down to vegetables. I try to get him on different things. He's like, no, 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 mommy, I don't want that. So I try him, you know, with watermelon and pineapple and cantaloupe. He'll like that. So I was just say, if you having problems with your kids eating vegetables, try them eating different fruits. You know, start off with watermelon and pineapple. Then, you know, go to some yogurt, you know, put some, you know, sunflower seeds or, you know, different things like raisins in a yogurt. Just mix it up all together and see if they eat it. Because kids, they like to eat. They, kids will eat anything. Some kids will just eat anything. Sometimes you can do the cheese, you know, the cheese and crackers is good as well. So then I end up getting some bananas because my, my daughter like bananas. Me, I don't eat bananas how I used to eat it. I may eat one, you know, or two out of a week. That's about it. But my daughter, she like bananas. That girl can eat bananas in a whole day. And I'd be like, look, you got to share those bananas. She love bananas. And um, that's what we doing, you know, when I get paid, you know, I like to be responsible. I like to take care of my responsibility as a wife, you know, take care of the things that we need in the house as far as food, you know, pay the bills, some bills that need to be paid, and get things done on time because it's, it's responsibility, you know. As a mother, as, you know, a husband, you got to do your job because you got to understand it's not about... You know, a lot of people say it's not about you. It is about you and your family. You know, I want you to understand that it is about you and your family. And if you not take care of your priorities the right way, 
you are failing your family. So whatever you are lacking in, whatever it is, you know, communication, finances or whatever, do your part as a couple. Save more money. You know, do what you need to do because eventually your kids are going to grow up. They're going to want, you know, more shoes, more clothes. They're going to be eating a lot of more food. And you want to make sure you already prepared for emergency funds, also for expensive, because kids are very expensive. People think, oh, having a child don't cost a thing. It's a lot of money to have children, you know. Children just don't pop out out of nowhere, you know. Children are made with love, and they come from a loving family, some kids. And we have to understand that we have to treat our children with respect as well. So they had this salad on sale. You can get three for $10. I got a Caesar salad. Andrew got two other salads. He ate. And um, this is what we had got. And y'all, let me tell you something. I was, after all this was over, I done checked my card. I done had extra $40 on it. And I said, oh my goodness. All this time, I'm up there spending my money. And on my EBT card, I have $40. I ain't checking till like two business days after I had got my check. So let me tell you, all I'm going to say is God is good. God will make a way for you. You know, as a mother, as a father, do your job. Don't sit around waiting for people to tell you to wake up, get up, and do what you need to do. I knew that. I wanted some salmon. That salmon my son brought over had some blood in it. I didn't like the way that one was looking. So I put that back and got a new one. I don't know. Somebody cutting the salmon up. They just got the blood out and everything. They know they're supposed to clean this stuff. I don't know what's wrong with people today. But they done had stuff all in the salmon and everything. And I had... You know, I ain't like that. Had to get a new one. So I told him to get the green smoothie and the strawberry one. I like to give my daughter some of this stuff in the morning. I also like to drink green smoothie as well. You know, if you have having problems eating your fruits and vegetables, just get a smoothie and stuff. My husband wasn't feeling well. I'm just trying to comfort him, seeing what's going on with him. He know me. I woke everybody up early. It was like 6 something in the morning because my son's school bus come at like 8. So I ended up waking everybody up so we can get the things that we need. I was going to get this gingerbread over here. You know, my my husband talking about get the, the bottles of gingerbread. So I got one of those. And my, um, my son was talking about he wanted a huggy. Sometimes I don't like to bring my kids because they be wanting too much stuff, you know. They be wanting everything. So this is me putting the um the sodas in the car. I'm up there telling my husband, this, you do not drink no bottled ginger ale. He up there laughing at me. I said, you, you need to get the canned ginger ale. And we talking to the kids, seeing which... You know, Huggy, they want it and everything. And she's saying, I want green. I want, you know, red or whatever they talking about. So I had to end up going over there, helping them out and stuff. She said she wanted green. And then Andrew, I think Andrew got red, but they sitting there playing and stuff. So it was on sale. I think I ended up getting her two of them and giving him two of them. And then we had left and went through the other aisles. So I just wanted to make sure they got their little juice. And um, I put it in the cart and everything. And I'm just dancing with my husband, trying to get him out of his comfort zone. And you see, he, he, he know he gonna come over towards me. Y'all see that? We got that connection. That's my baby. But me and Andrew, we still getting some stuff. I told him to get some cranberry juice, apple juice. My husband liked that cranberry juice. And the kids, I gave them the apple juice or whatever. Everybody drink it. Me, I drink 
mainly water. I try to stay away from juices and all that stuff. I like water. And um, that's what we had got as well. We need some chips. So that's what we had got. I wanted to get some chips for the kids. I end up giving them a box of chips and giving, you know, me and my husband some chips as well. I usually do my chips different. I give the kids a box of chips and these big old bags like this is like for me and my husband because, you know, the kids, it's just a certain amount of chips that they need. So I just get the box of chips for the kids. So I'm just looking to see what kind of, you know, what kind of chips I want. But I knew I was going to get this cheese because we're going to do Taco Tuesday and stuff. So I'm just getting a couple of things. Ask my husband what did he want because he told me he wasn't feeling good. So, you know, I ended up getting these chips for Anita and me. And, um... Just looking through, you know, everything, trying to see. And I got this popcorn. I like these popcorns. You know, Smart Food got some good popcorns, very good. And um, I'm just looking as I'm walking down the aisle. And I'm looking over, and I see the box of chips. I was looking at the box that said 28, but I told my son, give it a box that had 42 in it, you know. 42 is good because even though it's him and his sister, you know, they can have those chips, you know. When it comes down to me, I don't look at, you know, oh, let me just get this, get that. Listen, whatever I feel that is right to get in my household, that's what I feel because sometimes my stepkids come over as well. So I'm the type of parent, me and my husband is the type of parent, we like to have stuff stocked up so we ain't got to keep going back and forth out to no grocery store. You know, the main thing a lot of people need to understand when you're shopping, you need to stock up on your meat, your vegetables, your fruits. You understand what I'm saying? The chips and stuff going to come and go. But the main things you want to do is stock up on that meat and your protein and everything, get all that stuff situated. Because the chips, you can always run to the store and get some chips and, you know, other stuff. But this is what we had got. I don't know, y'all. I was thinking about getting some pickle chips. I knew something was up when I was looking at them pickle chips. Took me back when I had my son Andrew. I don't know why I was craving some pickle chips. But then we was up there... Because it's the salt, y'all. It's the salt. But I like me some pickle chips. It's good. But um, we had got some ground beef. And then some rice. Now, look at this boy. I don't know what he doing. Now, I get to jazz and rice. Look at his little hand. Look what he getting ready to do. I want y'all to look. Look at him. He going to do some other type of rice in his cart. When I went to the cash register, I throw that rice right on out the car. And look, I done put that rice in there. Now, you see, I know y'all seen Andrew Luhan put that rice in that car, that other one, that yellow one. Now, I don't even know what kind of rice that is. He done throw it in there. But this is what we doing. We just looking for some, um, I want some tacos, so... You know, we're doing Taco Tuesday, so we got some tacos. I wanted a deal, so I'm just looking at the prices and whatever. And this is what I had got. That one right there, that's a $2. And that's what I got. This is $2 and some change. I get stuff that's on sale, y'all. I don't be spending my money on all that crazy stuff. You got to look at the prices. The prices are going to really help you. You know, don't just be going to the stores just spending. I know I be spending my money, but I be using it on things that we need. But then I had got some bread and some bagels 
I wanted some bagels with cream cheese and jelly on it. It'd be so good. And that's what I got. I went down there because it was so crowded. This lady was moving her car towards me. I'm like, look, I'm trying to go down the aisle to get some bagels. I mean, I'm walking down. They walking towards me like, look at all these people, y'all. Look at all these people in my way. You see, got some bagels. I told my husband, just just stay right there. And just, I gave the bread to Andrew, told him. I said, just back that car up and go ahead and go. Then I came home, put everything in the refrigerator. That's my Dunkin' Donut and everything. And then I ended up doing my daughter hair and everything. Y'all, this is the first time I ever really did some pretty, pretty cornrows on my daughter here. I'm going to tell y'all something. Practice make perfect. When I first had my daughter, when she was young, I would always brush her head to the side and put little bow rats in. I would do the same style over and over. And now, you know, I had embraced it. And I said, yes, I'm going to learn how to do my daughter hair. No matter what it looks like, I'm going to do her hair. And I kept on practicing. Yes, indeed, I did my daughter hair. I don't look at no style. I just do it my way, and that's it. I don't look at nobody. You know, people say, oh, do you look at people hairstyles? I look at this stuff. But I don't do it the way that they do. Brush her teeth. I just did her hair yesterday and some cornrows. And then I put little bow rats on top of it. Me, I just go with the flow doing her hair. And she likes it. And that's all that really matters. You know, I don't watch, you know, episodes and just do the hair. I just do it as I go. You know, go ahead. I just do it. Spit it. She just got finished brushing her teeth. She don't like this toothpaste. I'm using a Winston Fresh Colgate. Look at her. Oh, she, she about to watch her show. Come here, so I can wipe your mouth. I'm a woman now. Yeah. Hold on. Look at her. Cheese. Nina is eating some Cheerios. Yeah. Seven. No, don't write down seven. I'm asking you, which one say tens? Which one say tens? You're not looking for the numbers right here. You're looking for the where the tens at. So count up here. One, two. Okay, so right here, you're looking for the second number. The second number every time. One. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's one. Okay. You're right about that. Okay, what's the second number on the Seven. Okay. It's mm -hmm. Okay, then. So that's all you had to do. You got to understand this chart. Say it with me before we go on to the next homework. You need to learn this because they might test you in school. Say it with me. Ones. The first one is, is, th is thousands. Say it with me. Thousands. Hundreds. Hundreds. Tens. Tens. And ones. Ones. Okay, thousands, thousands hundreds, hundreds, tens, tens and ones. Ones. thousands mean three zeros. Say it with me, thousands is three zeros, thousands is three zeros, hundreds is two zeros, hundreds is two zeros, tens is one zero, tens is one zero, and ones mean just the number by itself, no zero. One is a number. Hey. Number and no zero. Number zero. Okay, remember that, okay? Okay. You gotta study this chart. I'm gonna make a chart for you about. I'm gonna make a chart that you're gonna study every day when you come home, okay? Because you have to learn this chart because they're gonna quiz you on this eventually. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make a chart for you. We're gonna need this for today. She needs you to pull her um, her sleeves up.
That's all. too big for her. She it's fine. It's yet. fine. She just wearing it. The, you know, kids. She grow into this. She fine. Big. She just wearing it around the house. All right, Angie. That's good. You did the math. All right, Andrew's on his homework now. with his father right now. Let's go. Now they're getting ready to work no, on the reading comprehension good. right now. Please. You want to do this one first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's. Excuse me. Ooh, that might stink. All right, come on. Let's get to it. Bring your chair over here. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Right now, I am getting ready to drink some good green goodness. This stuff has broccoli, spinach, barely grass, white grass. They have different things in here. And I'm about to eat some eggs with some grits and some turkey sausages right now. And my son, he we waiting for his bus. I just got finished running outside. I'm thinking that's the bus. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm thinking the bus is here at 740 and it ain't even bus. I went outside barefoot, getting ready to run. I'm I'm ready to run for the bus. The bus ain't even here. And we up there looking for the bus. Go bring some lotion so I can put it on your face. It's 741. Go so bring some lotion. Outside. We went outside. outside. The bus wasn't even here. And um, you want some of this? Okay, I'm gonna give it these <coughs> some of this. Honey, pass me that cup right there. So that's what I'm getting ready to eat right now. I'm gonna drink a smoothie, some grits, and um, this right now, and some turkey sausages. That's Anita. She's ready for school. I'm trying to see when the lady's gonna give us the application and everything. We already did that actually. We just waiting to hear her name called. You know, we just waiting for her name to be called. Once her name is called, we're gonna have her go to school. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna cry the first day. I'm not gonna lie about that. You know, I, that day, it's going to be very emotional. I remember when I had my son, you know, seven years ago, I let him go to school early. I was saying nine months. Nine months, I cried. Um, I'm a, I'm ready for her to go to school, but when it's that first day of school, you know, you just like, wow, my kid is growing up. So I'm excited for Anita. You know, if y'all don't know, I had quit my job in 20... 20 around December to be a stay-at-home mom just to focus on my kids. I quit my job because I wanted to make my time, you know, more wiser for my children. I wanted to pay attention to them and be, you know, that type of mom. Oh, I got to see what's going on. I want to be able to watch them and everything. So that's what um, I have did. And um, I would just say being a stay-at-home mom, you know, do the best that you can. You know, it's not, it don't mean that you're lazy. It just means that you want to pay more attention to your kids. You also want to be in your kids' life. And you want to also pay attention to them more. It's nothing wrong with a mom being a stay-at-home mom. It's nothing wrong with a dad being a stay-at-home dad. You know, as long as you're doing the best you can to provide for your family, that's all that matters. So I just want to say continue to have a great day. Continue to shine. Continue to be the best you can and realize that you can do anything if you put your mind to it. I love it. Keep going. Scott, mm -hmm. what are you doing? This is my breakfast right here. This nice, delicious breakfast. I have waffle, grits, turkey sausages, and some eggs. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm eating. And yes, I'm going to eat my delicious breakfast. And um, we're waiting for Andrew's school bus. And um. After, we're going to order some breakfast and things for groceries. the house, some groceries, and um, we're going to enjoy our day. Today is a nice sunny day. Mm -hmm. Amen. It, it feels good. Bless and, um, be the Lord. Yes, today is good. It's a good day. Mm. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on this vlog today. I yes. hope everyone's having a prosperous day. We are 
I'm getting ready to send our son off to school. Afterwards, as my wife said, we're going to get some groceries. We're going to do some activities, my wife and I. And um, the um, bond in our marriage, bonding in your marriage is very important. Making time to spend together, even if it's reading a book. Even if it's watching a movie, watching a show, if it's coming up with goals, if it means, um, you know, playing a game, anything, you know, the small things is what counts in your marriage. Also, we're going to also do some teaching with our daughter, Anita. So we're going to have a very, very, very productive day today. We appreciate y'all tuning in with us. Y'all continue to watch us all the time. We appreciate y'all support. We love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all day today and enjoy your lives. Take care, stay blessed. Andrew getting on the school bus, going to school today. Bye, Andrew. Tanita, she a little upset. She ready to go to school. But I'm waiting to hear from her application to see if she gonna go to school. This is my husband right here. We waiting to hear back from the lady so she can go to the school. So every day, this is what she do with her boot bag on. She ready for school. She ready for school. You know, she's a terrible. What's the code? Three, three, one, two. I was the pie pies. Y'all got me. Five piece chicken wings, two biscuits, macaroni cheese, beans and rice, and some, some tea. <laughs> they gave me this, uh, Souls right here, and this one right here, barbecue, and sweet heat. So I'm getting ready to eat right now. My husband right here looking at me like, girl, you better go and sit down. You see this gut, right? This you see what me. she be doing to me? Every time I try to lose weight, she brings stuff like this. That's why the gut like that. Y'all, we be eating. We be, you see these kids? Look at this girl. Just coming up in here eating. We have got some groceries from all these. We have cinnamon, toast crunch, cereal. I'm going to put this in the cabinet. Also, we got some instant white rice. I'm going to put these in the cabinet as well. Then we got some chicken alfredo sauce. Because we're gonna make chicken alfredo tomorrow. We got two jars of those. 
And we got cookie, two cookie and cream ice creams for the kids. I don't really eat ice cream how I used to. I used to eat it all the time growing up, but you know, as you get older, I don't eat a lot of sweets. Also, we got four breads. Right now, that's what we're doing. I'm going to put the bread in the fish right now. I'm going to put the bread in here. We got about four of them. And then after we put all this stuff up, I'm going to um also get some other stuff, you know. My son just want to get on roadblocks. Got to be careful having these kids on the roadblocks. They worry about them roadblocks. They don't got time to help their parents no more, these kids. You know, like we put them on roadblocks for like an hour. You want to stay on the roadblocks. So I'm like, look, you don't want to do nothing. You know, you get off the roadblocks. He think he, he just going to be on the game system all day. Uh-uh. So he got a little attitude. That's him, look. You got a little attitude. Maybe you can help pay the bills then. Cause I don't got time for your attitude. These kids today, they that's all they worry about is these game systems. As parents, we gonna have to shut it down. Cause you don't you don't nip that. They gonna be coming home with bad book cards and all this. You gotta sit that out. Don't you got frozen, Lord? But um, yeah. That's what you want to have to start doing. Where are you going? Taking their games and stuff from them. Yeah. Got some milk as well. Coffee. Yeah. And some apples. Yes, and then some noodles right here. Some noodles for the kids. Also. Got some lasagna, or chicken, four bags of orange chicken. So I'm gonna put all this stuff up. Thank you, Nina. Somebody gonna help us put them on um, more at a time. Pizza. And the freezer. See, you ain't gotta buy little Caesars. Make your pizza at home. Y'all love. Stop trying to be famous. Mm -hmm. Go to the dollar store and get some pizza. Go to. You said what? Size what? Never. My big foot. My foot got big when I had kids. When I started having my children, my feet got big. Definitely when I had a needle. They ain't gonna foot. Went up two sizes. I was one size nine. When I had my son Andrew, and then all of a sudden my feet done grow. <laughs> This is the food that we just bought. I just put it in the freezer and in the refrigerator as well. Everything that we had got. I also put some food in the cabinets so I can know where everything is at. My husband. What size is it? 
18 in each. It's 36 of them. So hold you over for me. Okay. And I'll pack away. Okay. Take that off, Andrew. Go put that in the trash. No, we put this in the cabinet. Okay. Get your pull-ups for your kids. You should get pull-ups for your kids. Very important. Andrew getting on the school bus. Going to school today. Bye, Andrew. I am doing breakfast a little different today. Today, Anita's going to have waffles. Andrew is going to have bagel with cream cheese. Today, I'm doing it a little different because they always sometimes have the same thing. So I'm going to give Andrew cream cheese on his bagels, and I'm going to give Anita syrup. And we're going to see how this goes. There they go right there. So I'm making y'all breakfast. So go ahead and sit down. But the mommy's already over. We can wash nothing out. Okay, say hi. Wait, this is the first thing she do. Go in the fridge right there. What are you doing? This, 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 this. A water? A juice? She's very independent. Anita don't want no help. <laughs> Washing her face and brushing her teeth. Look at this girl. She's grown up. I remember the first day I had her. Look at this girl, she's being tall, tall. Look at this, very good, very good. Let's dry your face off. Come on. Uh -huh. Very good, ain't that something? Okay, put that there. Turn this light off. And come on. Let's watch your TV show. Come on. Good job. You see how independent she is? It's not three year old. Yeah. Trash. Okay, you gonna put that in the trash? Yeah. All right. Right here, I had to empty out all my cabinets because I had to have the exterminator to come in here because we was having problems with roaches in our cabinets. And I was like, I've been in here for three months. I don't know why I'm still having the same issues. So we took everything out, throw some things in the trash. Today is Andrew's birthday. Andrew turned eight years old. I school, but I got ready. Yes, you got mail. You want me to read your emails? I No, your grandma wrote you. Um, Sarah wrote you, your aunt Sarah. You want me to read? No, I'm gonna read it now. Come on, get on up. Come on, so I can read you the mail. You, you ready? This is me going through the canned goods from our kitchen, and we just throw everything in the little room, some things that we didn't want. Some things that we wanted to throw in the trash, some things we wanted to get rid of. So I got rid of some canned goods that was expired, and I was going through the ones that was already good. I put it on the left side. The ones that was bad was on the side where my daughter was on. So I got rid of some of this stuff and some things that we didn't need. So this is me. I'm going in the kitchen, looking through everything, wiping it down with some alcohol, and I'm like, Lord, you know my situation. But before God bless, you know, bless anybody with anything, you got to learn how to take care of your situation. Doesn't matter if you're living in a low income or a higher income. You have to learn how to deal with your situation. Sometimes people may say, well, God gave me this place. I might as well take care of it. Or I might as well don't worry about it. But even though... My place look the way it is. You know, I keep it clean. And, you know, I had brought this to the office plenty of time. I don't understand why I'm having these issues over and over again. If I, my place is very clean, you know, I'm very clean. I always have my place together. I never have problems with keeping my place clean. I've always been like that. That's one of the things my father taught me was when you have your own place, 
you know, you always want to keep it clean. Same as my mother. You cook, you clean up after yourself. I mean, simple things that we have a problem with in here. And sometimes I get a little frustrated. I'm like, God, you know, have problems with roaches and, and little things. And you like, Lord, like, you know, you bless me. And I'm dealing with these situations over and over again. But I'm going to tell you this. Sometimes we're going to have problems in our life that come over and over again. And God going to look at you. Can you handle the situation that I give you? How would you handle it? Would you handle it, you know, a respectful way? Or would you handle it in the wrong way? So when I was having problems with this, I went to the office and talked about it. And they handled it in a respectful manner. And they took care of it. You know, I throw some things out my cabinet. You know, I cleaned out my cabinets because guess what? It was well worth it that I cleaned it because some things in my cabinet was expired. So I see how this go, but I hope everything will go well because I have a clean home. I just don't understand why I'm having problems with little things like roaches, you know, roaches, mouses and stuff like that. You know, people don't want to live with stuff like that. But when you live in a low-income housing, sometimes you're going to have situations and you're like, Lord, what do this come from? This is my stepson. He's just showing his muscle. But I'm just saying, you know, sometimes we have to just be grateful what we have. God will provide for us. You know, it doesn't matter where you come from. It's all about how you you know, get yourself together and become somebody greater. You know, I understand I may be living in a situation like this right now, but this is not a lifetime situation. This is just temporary because I know God got something big for me that's coming. And when God bless me, trust me, y'all going to be the first people to know. I'm just grateful and thankful what I have. I may not have everything. I may not be rich. I may not have everything that I want right now, but I'm thankful for life and I'm thankful for strength. And I thank God for the little things that he blessed me with. Yes, I may complain sometimes, but I thank God for everything that he's done in my life. You know, I'm not perfect. I just try to do the best that I can for my kids and for myself and for my husband. You know, I just thank God for allowing me to be a mother to, you know, my bonus children. I have three children, you know, by three, you know, other people. But I thank God for allowing me to be their stepmother. And let me tell you this, and I have two kids that I have. And I want to say to you, when God give you a blessing, don't take it for granted. Thank God for your stepchildren. I just want to talk about this for a minute. Thank God for your stepchildren because they're going to be some good helpers in your life. And they will will remember the things that you taught them. So I just want to say to you, continue to respect your stepchildren. Respect other people as well because God will bless you for the things that you have done in other people's life. So I'm just wiping the cabinet down with some Clorox. And I'm going to put everything back in. This cabinet that I'm wiping down is where I put my tea and my coffee and everything in. But I had to wipe this stuff down because stuff had spilled in there. And him spraying some stuff he came in here with. But I just want to say God is good. And God always coming through for me. I don't care what I go through. God always come through for me. He always coming through with a big old blessing for me. I'm telling y'all, sometimes I be down and God be coming through with surprises. He like, look, I got something that's big and that's greater for you, Ashley. Just continue to hang in there. When I tell y'all God told me he got me for life, he told me he got me for life for real. And when he told me that, he said, your income going to change. You know, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless your family. Just continue to stick with me, stay by me, and watch what I do for you and your family. And when I heard God say that, I said, you done did it again. And I'm going to tell you all, let me be honest with y'all, I went through a lot. 
But let me tell you this. Everything that I went through was for a reason. Because, let me tell you, when you've been hard hit, when you've been going through a lot in your life, listen, God is the only way out. And I thank God that I heard his call. And I responded back to him. And I accept him as my Lord and Savior. Ain't nothing like accepting the Lord as your Lord and Savior. I'm telling anyone, if you don't know Jesus, have a relationship with him. Get to know him for yourself. And know that God loves everybody. And he knows what everybody is going through. So continue to be encouraged. Stay prayed up. Give it all to God, whatever you are going through. And don't, you know, rely on your past. You know, move forward. Whatever you're going through in your past, you, listen to me, you give it to God. And God will make a way for you. So I just want to say to you, keep going, keep pushing. And know that God has so much in store for you. You know, sometimes we have to understand that we got to keep moving and keep pushing ourselves to be greater because God knows what he's doing. Obedience is better than sacrifice. A lot of people take that word lightly, but that word is very powerful. When I first heard that word at an early age, I was like, wow, obedience is better than sacrifice, you know, and I was like, wow. Wow. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And I just start processing that word in my head over and over. If I obey God, I will eat the good of the land. But if I be disobedient, I won't. And God will get me for the consequences that I had done. But I want y'all to understand, when you get a chance... Read your Bible. Start reading your Bible more. Just read and meditate on Ephesians 6 and 1. You know, and read it to your kids. Is it is very important that we obey God. It doesn't matter how old we are. Some of you are grown and you still hard here. You still don't listen to your mother, your father. And they be trying to tell you, listen. They be telling you don't go to that bad house. They tell you don't go to that woman house. And you grown. See, when I became an adult, a grown woman, I began to put God first, you know. And that's how God will help me, you know, more and more. As I put God first, God will lead me to righteousness and lead me to places where he wanted me to go. Not where I wanted to go, but where he wanted me to go. When you put God first, God become the leader in your life. God become the provider. God will become the weight maker. God become everything. So listen to me. You may be working nine to five, and you may be making $10 an hour. But let me tell you, God going to change the $10 and make it $20. Your income will go up in time. Just keep the faith. Keep holding on and know that God will work everything out for your good. And just know that your time is coming. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Andrew. Happy birthday to you. How old are you? Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, come on.